Well, first their season opener got postponed. And now the Cal football team's second game of the season, set for this Saturday, is in limbo as well. It's all because a player tested positive. KPI X5's Kenny Choi is live at UC Berkeley on why the team is growing a bit frustrated with the city. Kenny? Ken, the football team is still practicing this week as if they're going to play on Saturday, but at this point that seems unlikely. That's because city health officials from Berkeley have already informed the school how long these players who are sidelined need to quarantine. For many Cal students, the hope of cheering for their team during a COVID-shortened season is fading fast. It's definitely a disappointment, but I think it's also great that they're being responsible about everything, and we hope that we'll get to see a game before the end of the season. The school had to cancel its season home opener last week after one player tested positive for coronavirus, and several players after contact tracing by Berkeley health officials were told to quarantine for 14 days and unable to play, leaving upcoming games up in the air. There's risk when you walk outside or you go to the grocery store, and I, I mean, maybe you all don't go to the grocery store, I don't know, but you know, guys got to get something to eat from time to time and they got to make good decisions off the field uh, to mitigate that risk. They're following the protocols. They're doing what they need to do. And um, they're definitely like there's good leadership at the football team and athletics department. Wilcox abruptly canceled the scheduled press conference late Wednesday, but before that expressed frustration and wanted more clarity on protocol moving forward. We recognize the uh, significance of the virus. This is not minimizing the virus. What we want to know is how we can be better so these things don't happen. Obviously, we don't want to spread it to the community. We want to be good neighbors. City spokesperson Mathai Chaco issued a statement saying the school was already given a quarantine timeline last week, saying in part the team should use that information as a timeline for return of those individuals to the field. In terms of contact tracing, Berkeley is a bit harder uh, on the players than they should be. I do think Berkeley is being very responsible. I know there's schools in the South that are going on with their football seasons, and those have had a lot of hot spots, and you haven't seen that same level of responsibility. The school says that they are continuing conversations with medical health professionals on campus as well as City of Berkeley officials. As for media availability, there is none. They say that there will be none until a final determination is made on the game. Live in Berkeley, Kenny Choi, KPIX5.